What's happening, fam? LA Out Moving Still Moving. Book entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father. Amazon Kindle Create Space. Link will be in the description box below. From Friend Zone to Friends with Benefits. See, sometimes being in a friend zone can move into being friends with benefits because sometimes people are just being cool about it. Sometimes people are actually orbiting and waiting on you to pick them even when you friend zone them. Um, but what winds up happening from, from what I've seen over the years is when you put somebody in a friend zone, it's normally because you feel like they're not on your level. Whether you're attracted to them or not, you know, you, you may feel like you could do better or they're just not your cup of tea, you know, for whatever reason, you know, or, or it could just be your fickle, fashionable dating habits. Like they're not what's in style. So you friend zoned a, a, a person, but if they cool about it and they just chill, you might over time have some type of change of heart and attraction to this person. And then you want to deal with this person on a romantic level. And they have obstacles because what winds up happening is you're dealing with a person that you put in a friend zone because like I said, the friend zone is perceived as, you know, I'm 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 on a higher I'm on a better level than you, so you're kinda of beneath me. It's not usually, you know, we just click as friends because one of the things about quote unquote relationships, if you want a relationship to work, the person you're in a relationship with is going to have to be your friend. And, it, and it's ideal that that person tries to be your best friend and y'all actually become best friends. So when you friend zone a person, you would think theoretically that should work because you're trying to make a person your best friend so they get to know you and accept you for who you are. But that's not what's going on. You know. But as long as you're cool about it, there's some, this is how it winds up popping off because on one end a person could feel like well, I'm going to keep this person around because they're a cool person but they're kind of like a satellite orbiting around for opportunistic time to have some type of sexual encounter and on the other end they could be a cool person and you find out that they they have other options and you kind of low key spying on them to see see the type of people that they can that they have or how these people view them and when you see they, they, they got some good choice or they actually got people who are really digging them you wind up the person that put them in a friend zone winds up orbiting them hoping to throw a monkey wrench in their relationship so you can feel like you're the important one again so this is how this is part of the dynamic of why people go from the friend zone to friends with benefits because this little game it destroys the opportunity for a relationship because if you put somebody in a friend zone see a lot of people don't have the 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 the, the heart to be real and say look I put you in a friend zone because I was not feeling you or I thought I was better than you or you know I was just fickle because it, it was other you know I, I was a follower of trends and these other type of people were more fashionable at the time and that's what I thought I was supposed to holler at because I felt like I, I deserved the best of the best of this fickle, fashionable ass love that I was looking for. But instead of that, she would just sit there and act like, you know, you're just going to have to get on my level. And now you've done all these things and now I can see you as somebody that I could talk to, which is a problem because it's OK to have a high self-esteem for yourself. But don't assume because you put a person in the friend zone that they have a low self-esteem of themselves. They could have just as high of a self-esteem and not be concerned about whether you put them in a friend zone or not because they feel they can talk to other people. So, that being said, you know, you have people winding up looking at these people like, well, well, you, you kind of, I shouldn't have overlooked you. You kind of dope. Okay. But you can't see yourself as act, you can't necessarily be in a relationship with them because you're still accustomed to treating them like a friend zone person and you know they're not going to accept that 
Because sometimes when you're in the friend zone, you get you you you're close enough to see the type of people that the person who friend zones you are attracted to, and how they treat those people and how those people treat them. But you're far enough away to not have to not have a dog in the fight. So you come to you come to see those people. And it's like uh. Well, I, I want to be with you, and it's like, yeah, yes, you you must have forgot. I know how you treat these other people, so I can't be in a relationship with you because you're not gonna treat me like you treated all those people that you were chasing around and attracted to, and were feeling and thought they were the the flavor of the month. So a relationship kind of hits a wall right there, the idea. And then you wind up, you know, it might just be sexual because some people feel like they can't get over that hump because they know that they probably friends on the wrong person and they kind of full of shit for trying to shortchange them <laughs> because I can't say they came to their senses or, or you know, you you could say you, you overlooked a good person. Two, you ha you're trying to settle for this person who's always been there because all the people that you chose didn't choose you back. So it's, it's, it's a, a difficult dynamic, which winds up leading to being, just being friends with benefits. Because at the end of the day, what you gonna do? You know, that, per, that person, it's a timing issue. That person that you friends on might actually not have a person at a, certain, at a particular time and while you're thinking that you can use sex as a as a as a uh, a stepping stone to a relationship, you're just gonna be friends with benefits, you know, because you can't teach, treat that person right. It is what it is, you know. And at at a certain point, you're gonna have to accept being the person you friend zoned friend friends with benefits, <laughs> friend that friend with benefits. Sorry. Because you can't change, you can't change their view of you. You know, you and you can't change their perception of, of how you got to to the friends with benefits part. Because all of a sudden you have to relinquish the power that you thought you had over them that probably didn't exist. So, big issue. So now you're sleeping with this person. And you want more from from this person, and they're not really trying to feel that, you know. It's like, mm, you know, the sex is cool, I and mean, sometimes that's the problem. People want want the relationship really because you wind up knowing that finding out the person that you friends on was cool, and then it was, and then their sex is better or on par with the people that you chose. It's like, yeesh. You know, you know you done fucked up, right? <laughs> you know you done fucked up. So, and now you trying to push harder to get their attention, and you come off as thirsty because you know you you were so in control when you friends on them, and now when you friends with benefits, you thirsty as hell. Not a good look because you know to a certain degree, a person can look at it as a compliment, or a person can look at it like. Um, oh, you're slumming now because you got no other choices, and that's why it makes it. A, 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 that's why friends with benefits is as far as it's gonna go. So at, at the same time, you might want to look for somebody you could be in a relationship with, and at the same time, you might want to stop s uh, sabotaging a relationship that you have with your friend zone friend with benefits because they're gonna move on regardless. You know, are you, could you be a notch on their belt? Maybe, maybe not. You know, could 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 it be uh, an ego relationship and ego sex? Maybe, maybe not. Could it be y'all just hooked up at at a good time as where both of y'all were single? Maybe, maybe not. But what it what it ultimately will will be is a relationship that in all probability won't blossom into a, a, a real relationship. It might just be a sexual thing. Why go out on dates? Because the person you put in friends on went out with you.
plenty of times and it wasn't a date. So you can't say I want to be dated because you didn't count them getting to know you as dating when it was when it was really dating. You know, you, you didn't count them taking you out or trying to cheer you up as dating or courting. When, it, when, in, when in some ways it, it was, in some, t- or some ways it wasn't. You didn't count them caring about you as relevant enough because they were just in the friend zone. So, you know, you reap what you sow. And when you become a person that winds up being that friend with benefits, you know, it's kind of a karma type thing because when you friend zone somebody, in some ways you cool with them, in some ways you're using them. So then when you become the friend with benefits, in some ways you feel like y'all cool, but you feel like you're being used. And that's because if you can dish it, you can take it. Now, if, you, if you're willing to accept that and be real with the person and be real with yourself and say, hey, you know, maybe this is what I got coming if I'm in this situation, y'all might be able to, to move forward in, in some capacity. But a lot of times people don't realize, you know, and it happens a lot. Because whether people like to admit it or not, whether you whether you friends on somebody or you just know somebody for a long time, between men and women, there's always going to be that sexual tension. And normally people may be in the same circles or they just may keep in touch. And at some point it blossoms. You know, in, in, some, in some time, whether it be a month, a year, five years, who knows, you know, you... You touch up with people, they go back and forth. You've had people who just met up and met up six months later, the people who had got married and had kids, the high school sweethearts and all that other type of stuff. You know, it happens a lot. We just don't look at it that way. So um, that's my take on from friend zone to friends with benefits. I'm out.